Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an easy one pot chicken kaiguksu, but it's not. Because I'm not going to be using the normal noodles, I will be using rice in place of it. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So these are the list of ingredients that we need to make this recipe. It's all in one pot, it's a lot easier than it looks, and let's get started. I did start off with 10 cups of water, brought it to a boil, and then added my two chicken breasts. And I did cook it for 10 minutes or so on that medium high heat. All I have to do now is just remove all the foam on top that you're gonna see when you start cooking your chicken breast. And we're gonna do it until we get like a clear broth. And then we'll add one tablespoon of chicken bouillon because we want to make sure the broth is still on the lighter clear side, which it will get, so don't let this deceive you here. And then we're just going to pull out our chicken to let it cool and set it down on the side while we do everything else to prep for the soup. Now that our chicken is going to be cooling, let's go ahead and start with all of our veggies. I'm going to start with the zucchini and I'm going to go ahead and slice these as thin as I can. Again, cut off your ends, cut it at an angle. We're going to do these julienne style or like matchsticks. So just do what I'm doing right here in the video and just slice them up until they're all done. And then we're gonna place all of these vegetables right inside of our pot. I guess I had to show you before I place it inside the pot. <laughs> so after the veggies are in there, we're gonna start with the next one. We are doing our onions next. Again, same thing. All we're gonna do is just, not necessarily julienne these obviously, but we're just gonna go and slice these thinly and then pull apart anything that is stuck together. And the same thing, throw all of these right into the pot. Yes, I did speed up the video for you guys from all the chopping because it's just not necessary. But here, something I had do if you guys wanna do this too, because you know, if you need green onions, they kinda go bad in the refrigerator, right? But if you have them in your freezer, and yes, you can freeze these, and these are perfect for soups and like pancakes maybe when you make like the kimchi johns or whatever, that'll be perfect for it. And all we need to do is just chop two of these scallions right up, and again, like you know, throw it all right into the pot. Now yes, our chicken is still set aside and cooling because it was too hot to touch, so I went ahead and just chopped it up a little bit more just to make sure it's cooling down faster in the middle. But in the meantime, let's get our seaweed. I happen to have one of those individual packs that you can buy at any store, like you can even get them at Costco these days. If you have that, use that and just throw it inside of a Ziploc bag. Make sure you flatten it out and get all the air and just rub it together until it shreds apart. Now, back to our chicken. I think speaking of shredding, shred your chicken. Make sure it's not too hot to touch. If it's too hot to touch, just continue to wait until you can touch it to be able to pull apart all the chicken and then place it right into a bowl and let's add our ingredients. Half a teaspoon of garlic, of minced garlic, or if you don't have you know, the minced garlics like I do where I just pre-mince them anyways, um, use one small garlic. Secondly, your half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And all we need to do, again, I would advise wearing um, plastic gloves at this point because like you see here, we are going to be using our hands to make sure we can get everything well combined and have that garlic and sesame seed flavor in our chicken. So like I said before, I didn't use the noodles and kai kuksu, kai meaning knife and kuksu meaning noodles, you know, cut knife. Didn't want to make it, didn't want to buy it. So I used rice because I use, usually generally just prefer rice with soup. But if you guys like this recipe, hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.